The whole fight, I was just sitting back, just studying his movements, studying his body language, his posture. And um, there's a few times in the fight where uh, I hit him with a jab, he said, oh, good jab. Well, you don't do that to someone you fight, not in the rain, sparring maybe, but not in the rain. So that showed me that, that I was getting to him. Anybody else? You hear your corner calling for that overhand, right? Um, yeah, 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 my corner's calling for it, but uh, I, was, I, was, I was forcing it early on, and um, I just knew I was gonna catch with it. That's the shot we was actually working on in the gym. It's overhand right, catch with overhand right. And, um, I heard my corner calling for it, calling for it, calling for it. Like I said, it's just it's about time and the preparation. Was it almost like a low? Because when we were watching it, it was kind of slow, but then all of a sudden you landed and like nobody knew what happened. Like I, no one expected him to go down like that. Um, uh, I expected it was a good down. shot. Good shot. Yeah, like yeah. 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 You know, when you've been like in them rounds, I like this from the violence fight. When you've been like in them rounds, the later rounds, like despite what happened early in, in the fight, you still have to keep it for the rest of the fight. You can stay busy, but for so long. If you've never been there, you've never been to that place, like how do you expect to be there that night if you never prepared, prepared for it? Like he was going for the knockout. He thought he was going to knock me out. That's all he was looking for. That's all he was banking on. He wasn't banking on going to the later rounds. And that's what I did, took him to the later rounds. And that's what's the plan.